What's up guys, Milnickel Outdoors. So I'm gonna do a video on my 100 watt solar kit from Harbor Freight because I had a few questions and comments. So I'm gonna try to answer them in this video as much as possible so I have it set up. So I'll go through this video and uh, hopefully answers all the questions and everything you need. And yeah, so let's get to her. So I have the four panels set up, run through the cable and then it runs into here this is the charger controller so as of right now it is charging the batteries even though the batteries are charged apparently they're a little low and i have this hooked up into here which runs to my led strip underneath here which is actually nice to have so i can see i put that in this is the wires coming in this box here I uh, got on Amazon and got that's the uh, part number it's upside down but this is what the box looks like it's got different plugs and stuff in it but this has the uh, thing in it for my battery monitor it's got the shunt in it that runs into here and then down through here, it runs over to this box. These are battery cutoff switches. So I took the wires that ran to the battery, ran them up in here, hooked them up into here, and I put fuses in the links that come off of here to the RV and to the battery. So if anything shorts out, it's gonna cut off here. I would have to pull this panel open. I even installed one for my vert inverter, which is 400 watts. And then this is for the solar, so I can control the solar by shutting it off so it's not drawing the battery dead. As you see right there, even though I shut it off, there's not a battery connected. It's at 14.2, but it's still running the lights, but there's no battery to charge it. And then when I turn it on, you can see it's charging the batteries. So basically, if I shut this off, that's still on, and if I pull the panels out, see, nothing. So there's nothing there. Until I turn this on. Now that I turned it on, and it's charging. Huh, it's not going to do it again, but yeah. And, yeah, so basically I ran a piece of conduit down. Down through there. And I'll show you what I did with my batteries. So these are my batteries I use. They're from Walmart. They're group size 24, 135 amp hours. So I got two of them. So this positive and negative jumper wire runs over here to this one. And I took my RV positive wire, connected it to this one. And I took the negative of the RV and connected it to this one. So it discharges both of them at the same time and charges them both at the same time this here is for my trickle charger which i have wired up so during the winter time i hook up a trickle charger battery maintainer to keep these charged so i don't have to pull them out and that's for my tps sensors for the tires and this is for my jack but there's two of these. I gotta check the water in them, make sure they're full. And I'll show you what it's doing in the camper. And this is my battery monitor, which tells me exactly what's going on with the batteries. And right now it's at 98.6%, which is not gonna show it's throwing the charge. There's a draw because I have the furnace running. But yeah, that's it. Tells me it's at. 12.37 and I'll show you what it looks like on this 12.2 that meter is not right so put it on a volt meter checked it but yeah that's the setup that I have that's what works for me and another thing I can do which this has solar on the side which is right here 
and it comes with the plug and I got it wired with alligator clips and I can actually plug in my trolling motor here and when that's plugged in I can charge my trolling motor which in ties with those batteries which is good and charge that battery up use batteries to charge other batteries or use solar to charge batteries but yeah if you have any questions or anything just put it in the comments I'll try to answer as best as possible but yeah that's my little solar setup for my RV and thanks for watching make sure you like follow and subscribe